Happy WQAM. Sway! Wacker Good Simon, 20 minutes away from 9 p.m. on the Rickshaw Monday Show. Happy WCKR. 78 degrees at the airport right now. The beach swinging in with 80 under partly cloudy Miami skies. The Rickshaw Monday Show from now till 12 o'clock midnight. Dedications for you. Plaza 72569 and Plaza 72560 if you'd like to give us a buzz. WQAM. Joshua Sunday night, WQAM, reminiscing some of the great sounds out of the past. You're about time for us to close up shop on a Sunday night. An all night show coming around. About seven minutes away. Have yourself a good day tomorrow. I'll see you at seven. Till then, Rick Shaw, good night, my love. Good night, my love. Welcome back there, Tiger Rudy. Yes, sir. Another hour of holy goldies at WQAM. Big guy by the name of Johnny Burnett. His original claim to fame is called Dreaming. A lot of fun, but no money. WQAM. He's a happy guy. Rickshaw, swing it till 11 o'clock at WQAM. The most happy bell on wonderful WQAM. Swing. And the Rickshaw program, 14 minutes past 9 o'clock. Our temperature is 78 degrees. Wonderful WQAM. Today on Action, we go to Miami Beach. Let's go now to a friend of ours, one of the top disc jockeys in Miami, the man who controls the early morning on WLBW, our ABC affiliate, Mr. Rick Shaw. Thank you, Dick. We'd like to thank you, of course, and of course all the rest of the Worthy Action is Troop 2 for this special salute to the city of what used to be sunny. It's getting a little cloudy right now, but we're still very, very proud of a gentleman who comes from Miami and, of course, was with where the action is right from the very beginning, a little over a year ago. Mr. Steve Alamo, welcome home, Steve. Thank you. This is the most requested song. If you don't mind, one more. Oh, I love it. All right. This is the most requested song that we have of all the hits that you have ever done. Yeah. And uh, we do a, quite a bit of this. Of course, every weekend we have what we call Million Dollar Week, and every other song is an oldie goldie flashback. Yeah, I hear and, it. Right. And this is like almost every night, weekly for sure, on the top ten. And it's called Breaking Up is Hard to Do. Would you mind? I love it. All right. Neil Sedaka, Break It Up is Hard to Do. She's one of the most talented young performers of our day. This gentleman right here will be there tonight and tomorrow night, three shows nightly, Mr. Neil Sedaka. Thank Neil, you. thank you very much Thanks again. So nice seeing you. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Sedaka. I know you are going to enjoy John Mayhall. Here he is. We have a young lady here who has possibly the most beautiful dimples that I have ever seen in my entire life. Come on over here, sweetheart. She was standing out in front when I walked in this afternoon with all the records. I said, I need some volunteers. He's sitting there and he wouldn't, wouldn't budge. I said, you. So she was good enough to come back. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. Let's find out who you are. Pat Benson. Pat Benton. How old are you, Pat? Fourteen. Pat Benton is 14 years old. Now, would you smile real big for us? Look at those dimples. Do you believe that? Huh? The dimple darling. She sleeps with pennies in her cheek every night. That's how it got to be that way. You go to what school, Pat? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Very good. You're going to do a song for us, right? Yeah. <laughs> this was a song that was uh, very popular in 1964, right around the beginning of the year. Sort of kicked off the ska in the United States. Didn't become a real big national dance craze, but the record was a smash. Millie Small and my boy Lollipop. Patty? Fantastic. You're sensational. Did you ever do that before? Yes, once. Oh, you did? We're here? No, it's cool. Oh, at school. They do that at the lip-syncing thing at school? On a talent show, I did. Oh, I see. That's very good. I can see that you've had some practice. Well, listen, I got a little record for you that I'm going to give to you in a second after we take this time out for a message. For all our people at home, we'll be right back in about, uh, ooh, a little while. You know, they were just crazy guys, and they knew enough about television and kids to parlay all of these elements and make something good and fun come out of it. <laughs>
was really going to hit me, did you? <laughs> I'm all fun. I'm all music. <laughs> this is Kirk Bidot with Morning Madness. On I'm Randy Thomas, Thomas with Midday with Music Break. Rick Shaw with more fun, more music. Waxy 106. Of all of those folks. Uh, first time you ever drove a car, there was probably a radio on, and it was probably tuned to one of us. Uh, first time you ever had a date, and you were in the back seat with your girlfriend, the radio was probably on, and I was probably there. R-I-C-K. Oh, sure. 105.9. Oh, yes. I think my favorite Rolling Stones will be Satisfaction. Of all the tunes they have done. That, that that was the first real big hit back in, what, 65? 65, 65, yes. 65. That's when we were doing humor on the radio. Rick and Roby. Yeah. Yeah, Rick. Yo. Through the 60s, the 70s, and now the 80s, Rick Shaw has been serving up his special brand of charm and chatter to anyone that would listen. It's no wonder they now call him the legend. Over the years, gotten the message, if the folks want it and you can give it to them, by all means, do. And he has. Today, Shaw celebrated 25 years on the air here in South Florida, the last eight at Waxy FM wearing two hats. One is program director, the other is disc jockey. Okay, kid. Okay. Thanks for calling. Okay. Have a good one. No telling how many high school kids and housewives Rick has entertained over the years. You'd need a calculator to count. Some of them called in today wanting to relive the memories. Brawling junior high school at the time. There you go. Where, which which one? Panthers from the good old days. Yeah. There you go. Rick also remembers that Saturday night. Lexi FM with Ricky Tiki and Roby Young, the big Kahuna, presiding over Rick's. I can't hear again. Huh? Can't turn hear? Okay. All right. I won't do it. No, to don't you turn it too loud. Work that out. Okay. We've been getting a ton of calls, huh. and uh, the the one thing that people keep uh, asking. Actually, there are yeah. two. One, we're gonna play some of the old jingles from the good old days. Oh, great. And, uh, whatever Another. happened to Dorsey Harold? You yes, know. I was just thinking of Dorsey. For those of you who don't know who Dorsey Harrell is, a, a thumbnail uh, sketch here, Dorsey was uh, what we call the high school correspondent. 105.9 Waxy FM, and you were on my mind. Remember that? You always liked that song. Only big hit ever for uh, the Wii Five. Five. Yeah. Remember we had a special version that I made where the reprise the came back and, right. and repeated itself? Made it about, uh, oh, 20 seconds longer than the record. And the kids would call up the radio station and say, hey, I bought that record at the store, but it's not like the one that you played on the radio. That happened quite a few times, in fact. Okay, we uh, have to pay for all of this somehow, so let's uh, pause for the cars and be right back. When you visit Rio, got, uh, have you ever wanted a new two more spots, then a station ID, then satisfaction. After price, satisfaction, we'll do the bit. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Dealers have the answer. Introducing um, I'm just trying to figure out where to be the best place for you. You're probably right in the middle of us for, for your mic if you're going to pick up that. Only at your Dave Broward Yamaha dealers. Come on, America. Our ribs are waiting. The table is set. Tender ribs. Rick, do you, you going to have um, call, our caller's going to call in and still talk to you? You know, and I'll tell you, you know, what last 20 years. Yeah, sure. We, we can pick that up. Uh, like okay. if there's a time when you know you're going to do it. And Race now you play to everybody. Some Kelly of those same people who listen to you then, like me, yeah. and the way, older people, well, middle-aged people, older people. Yeah. I mean, what? Well, how do you do it? Music is, it, it seems to be timeless. I keep having this bad dream. The yeah, right, right. We did this, we did this uh, uh, ni uh, what, 19, uh, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, it was the 40th, right? At Wolfie's. At Wolfie's on the beach, right? We did it live. You guys came by and said hi and congrats and all Art, that. Welcome. Hey, thank you, Bobby. Good yes, to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. You don't know anyone else who's been on the air consecutively full-time for 50 years, do you? No, I don't think so. I, there are some, a couple of guys. Dick Biondi in Chicago is still on, uh, but I think it's just like a weekend deal. He come, does the oldie station right. there. And there's a guy by the name of Jerry Blavitt in Philadelphia who's still around. But I think I'm the last of the Mohicans still pulling a regular shift. This is good. He's interviewing me. Now, this, this is good. This is really good. This is, this is a shot I've always wanted. <laughs> okay. You You've always it. had this mic. Yeah. And I... Man, we go back a long way. We go back to, what, 1963, 4? Before that. What's all this mean, Rick? Well, this means it still works. That's what it's all about. You know, when you see as many people who care about this music and a bunch of guys who grew up here in South Florida, came out of the 60s, never made it nationally. Most of them never made a record. But every Saturday night, you could go somewhere and see them and hear them and touch them. And that's what it was all about. And the lights are going down and fade to black.
Magic 102.7. I got to ask, uh, we have a very special guest here this morning who's uh, stopping in because he just got off a, a gray submarine. Have you decompressed? You don't have the bends or anything, do you, Rick? No, no, no. You don't, you don't get the bends. As long as you're inside. If you get out in the water, then you got to be careful. Like Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Shaw, who was on a nuclear-powered submarine over the weekend. Magic 102.7. It's all come down to this. A moment in time that puts an exclamation point any 50 years of playing rock and roll music on the radio. I did the math. That comes out to nearly 975,000 songs, 170,000 hours behind a microphone. and kiss it today. I'm the luckiest guy in the, the room. In the USA. <laughs> Just demo the intro. Let me make sure that's the whole yeah. You blind. Magic 102.7.